have the feeling maybe, maybe I shouldn't really read the manual completely yet. There are some aspects that they are talking about, like opening up new floors, that they haven't really mentioned yet at all. Maybe because we are still at the beginning and they don't want to overwhelm us with all the information, but after seeing the manual, I kind of wanted to skip over it. Just in order to see if they perhaps skipped over something. They like to do that sometimes during their tutorials, like, wait a second. Reception, basic combat, where is it? Where is it? Uh, no. Yeah. Type of pages. There. They didn't mention that. Many times. See that? If you were to fight against range types, uh, the offensive type of a melee attack is not able to do any damage to the range opponent immediately, even if it wins a clash against it. However, they're able to retain the dice and use it later. That's, that's something that they would only be able to do against range attackers, right? Technically speaking, they should have probably mentioned that as well, if they are going to go over the, the pages, but then again, the Reds didn't really have the options of using uh, range attacks, so maybe maybe they thought it isn't really necessary, but since it was already in the reception tab, I, I kind of thought maybe maybe I should at least mention it, right? Or like, uh, wait, where was it? Where was it? With the preparation, it was the basic combat. Uh, there was one point, something about cancelling my attack. I noticed that before, but after selecting the cards, you aren't really able to deselect the card at all, even if you click on your speed die again, but... Uh, where is it? They, they mentioned it. I was, I was able to read it. There. Commencing combat. You can right click on the glowing speed tie, not left click, right click to cancel the page that you have already chosen. I'm not entirely sure if this page opened up before, or if they benched it before, don't remember it, had some issues during the test run. That is how you cancel the cards, okay? <laughs> that is how you cancel a card, okay? Okay. Now, welcome back everyone! for our next part of Library of Rune. How about I'm going to get out of the manual for now until the game decides to explain more stuff to us and let's see where our next invitation is going to lead us. Uh, question mark, right? Yes, I need to click on the question mark and then I need to click on the number and then I need to click on the books. Another book of the reds. Sure, did I click on do I need to click? Ah, yeah. Okay. I still need to get used to this whole uh, selection of the books for the invitation thingy. They also explain something about general invitations, but we're not going to go over that yet. <laughs> not gonna try throwing out any book sets, especially now that we only have the books of the reds and we only have three copies of them because I decided to burn like six, seven of them in the last part, right? Maybe I should save more spares for a few experiments. Maybe, but not today, right? Not today. Now then, the invitation. Too bad we can't really read where the invitation is going to go, but uh, they have to be interested in the Book of Reds, otherwise they wouldn't follow this invitation, right? Send it along. It is another fixer. Fixer one. Who's talking? Is it the left one? The right one? Uh, the other shadow, so I guess it's the left one. Foiled again! I didn't go through I didn't go through all the trouble of becoming a fixer to do maintain shores like this. You know how it is. Only a selected few gets to rise up in the ranks. But still, we might see the light one day if we start out with smaller tasks, don't you think? I envy your optimism, Finn. But a request like, please find my lost cat before nightfall, is seriously not it. Garbage officials get garbage requests. That's true. Yeah, Finn, you probably had better things in mind when you become a fixer. You know, a bigger field to play one. I'm sure I can move to a nice office or become a associated fixer someday, a 
if I keep working hard, then I might... Oh, that's odd. There's this envelope in my pocket. It says the... Invitation? It smells fishy. Can't overlook something like this. Besides, if that's what's written on the invitation is true, those books would be an interest uh, would be of interest to several associations. It is interesting, but we don't exactly know what this what's in the library, right? We should report this to the office first and take care of its formally uh, care of it formally. I ain't about to feed a garbage of office that won't feed me. We're going first if you don't wanna. If you don't wanna. Wait, they're not going to take it to the office? They're just going in without any backup? Are you sure about that? <laughs> I mean, you're fixers, you work for a company. Sure, if you don't really like the company, you don't really have to share everything with them, but still, isn't that a bit reckless? Especially since you have no idea what this is about. There are guts farmers in the streets, you know? Guts farmers! <laughs> they call themselves fixers. Do you happen to be friends with them? I don't think every fixer know each other, actually. What? Look, assuming all fixers know each other is... Uh, it's like picking two random pedestrians and hoping they know each other, you know? <laughs> Your question is basically asking these two strangers. You're both humans, so you must know each other, right? You get what I mean. I should expect it to see many different kinds of fixers. If what you're saying is true. Pretty much. Especially in a big city like this. <laughs> okay, so we have a great nine fixer and another one. Okay. Both of them have only 10 HP, so I guess that's not going to be an issue. Let's just start off our new attack. Huh? I mean, I did get some guts harvesting in the last part. As you can see, I changed up my deck a bit. Let's see how strong that card is going to be. I mean, technically speaking, I'm opening up their organs and pulling them out. So technically, that should be quite powerful of, the, of an attack. Okay, right? <laughs> Heightened emotion one. As the banner progresses, the emotional tension of the librarians and guests will be heightened. Positive emotion, blue. Gain upon winning a clash or having advantage in battle, defeating an enemy. Negative emotion points, red. Gaining upon losing a clash or suffering a disadvantage in battle. Losing an ally. Okay, we need to take care of our allies then. Heightened emotion 2. As the emotion level of character rises, the emotion, overall emotion of the team they belong to will be heightened. When your team's emotion level goes up, you may choose an abnormality page to use at the beginning of the next scene. Ah, I see. Okay, and then, okay, I have, to, I have the first hit, both of them are going to attack me again, like always. She is trying to go for a defensive stance, and she's going to go all in with a light attack. Okay, I would have the dirty blow. It has a 3 to 7 hit. I could try to go against that. But in actuality, I think I would rather prefer to fight against the blue hair. Yeah, I think I would rather prefer to fight against the blue hair one. Simply because it's two things against two, right? That seems about fair, as it gets. Let's try it! Holy hell! It's the staggered! Okay. <laughs> that card is powerful! That card is actually really powerful! Okay. Uh, you're gonna try to stop me? See if you can do that. Two to three. Won't be able to stop me with with my guts harvest, right? The guts harvest is very strong. Literally open opening up the stomach! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, the cards are too strong! The cards are too strong! Your, your friend died before you even had the chance to see it coming! Are you able to stand against that? You have 5 health. Oh, question is, what am I gonna do with you? That seems like an easy win. Let's go for this. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do anything. 
That's good. Now I have a higher roll. You're trying to go for the defensive, but I have three lives. I actually have... Yeah, I have three lives. It'd be like it can do three against three, right? Okay. And you're already lost. Never mind. Yeah, I think... Uh, I mean, the rats weren't really that strong. But their cards are kind of good, right? <laughs> Curtain calls for the reception of the UN office uh, fixers. Really sorry about that, the June office. It seems like you lost a couple of fixers without even knowing what actually happened to them, but uh, it was their decision, right? They decided to go forward. The other guy tried to stop them. He did say they should report to the office, but they didn't want to listen, right? They didn't want to listen. Uh, did I get a new book from this? I oh, guess I did. The Book of Great Nine Fixers. I got six copies of them. I could get Dodge and Strike, Trust, Valop, Preemptive Strike, Quickness, and Preparation. You know what? I'm gonna throw in like three of them just to see what kind of cards we're going to get. I mean, it would really hurt to have as many options as possible, right? Preemptive strike. The void chance between one and eight sounds really good. Preparation. Two to three. Three to four defenses. One clash, win, restore one. Oh, that's a recovery card. Wallop. I'm literally punching the guy in the face with two to six damage. Two to four. If I really mean it. <laughs> okay. Then we also have thrust. That's just a simple pierce attack. Quickness on you, gain one haste the next scene, and I take a 1 to 4 and avoid chance of 1 to 6. Okay, that doesn't really sound so bad. And dodge and strike. Okay, that card doesn't really sound that impressive. And that is pretty much it, right? I still have one more quickness and more preparation. Okay. When I take that, should I already put that in? I mean, the cards that I currently have are really great, but I guess I don't really need a fate if I can have dodge and strike, right? That's a bit stronger, and I would be able to pull off another hit. But I would kind of like to have quickness. Wait, where's my quickness? Do I need the speed? Where is it? Oh my god, I only have a couple of cards and I already can't tell when it is. There it is, quickness. Haste boost to all dice values by X for the next C. 1 to 4. I mean... It wouldn't hurt to use one less spider for quickness, right? Speed wouldn't really hurt. In most scenarios, speed is always really useful in games, right? Yeah, in most scenarios, speed is really useful in all kinds of situations. Sometimes even more than defenses themselves. Okay, so let's go back into the invitation and see... I don't see a question mark. But uh, this icon has a second chapter, from the looks of it. It's probably related to that other fixer, huh? Yeah, I mean, I just killed his colleagues. <laughs> they, they might be interested in getting them back, if that's even possible. At the very least, you might be able to get their books. <laughs> so, uh, good luck. Let's see if you can actually get it. But first and foremost, report to the office, right? <laughs> Finn. So, they still aren't, uh, haven't responded back to us. Something must have happened in that library. Plenty of fixers disappear without a trace. Whether they die or ran off, further lack of uh, response means a violation of contract, and they are facing expulsion from the office. Right from of my office! And there's too little evidence to back up your claim about this invitation. Right, they took it along. A door appeared out of thin air when they signed the paper, and they disappeared into that? Could be rich people's shenanigans or wing exp experiments with, uh, with its singularities. 
Jones' office doesn't have any time to spare with things like that. I might be a, still be a great night fixer, but I can sense that something is off about this. Oh really? How tragic that such a good instinct of a grand of a grand night fixer are wasted on such a humble office. You don't really take him serious, are you kidding me? He just saw two of his friends disappear! Listen up, little frog in the well. In this city, insane events happen every second of the day. Most of which you haven't even heard of. You won't have time to be feeling off about something when there's numerous other things that need your attention. If you can't present visible evidence right now, it's not worth looking into. What about that envelope right in front of you, operator? <gasps> Where did it appear? <laughs> what? You little brat, trying to pull a cheap trick on me? I didn't do anything, I swear. Get out for a moment. Hey, this is Shun's office. Got a good lead this time. But I thought you didn't take him serious. Are you kidding me? Let me some cash so I can hire a few. A few? No, serious. I have a good feeling about this. True. It can end up failing like you said. Huh. I can check just one more time if you want. I'm not exactly fond of this method, but... Yep, I have one guy fit for the job. You gotta check? <laughs> it seems fixers must report to the office before they can even begin working. Well, that's uh, formally the case. I got by by that since I ran a one-man office though. Ah, you work for yourself! I guess that's the reason why nobody's coming looking for you, huh, Roland? Not really the best city around here in the city. <laughs> Nobody's going to watch your back then. Which might be a bad thing. <laughs> okay. Fixers aren't any better than cynicals when it comes to greed. And it looks like this guy's trying to exploit a native ki uh, naive kid too. Exploiting a... Did you send him alone? Are you kidding me? He's a newbie. You called him a newbie. So this is the library. Yeah, should said we might get, uh, might even get sponsored from uh, from an association if I succeed. I'll do my best. Greetings, Fixer. I am Angela, the librarian of my Rowers namesake. Hello, I'm Finn, a Fixer at Shield's office. Is it true that I can find a book containing lots of information in this place? Yes, of course. You are given an invitation for that exact reason. May you find your book in this place. Are we actually going to pick a fight with him? I mean, he has more health than the others. Almost the same as both of them combined. Doesn't change the fact, though, that this is a child, right? It is just a child. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about this, but at the very least... He has a struggle card! On use, gain 2 protection next scene. Oh god, okay. Valop, trust, trust. Okay, he has the same cards as the other two. But he's going to give his best, okay. Well, if you're going to fight as seriously as possible, then I'm going to try my best as well. Right, Roland? Going to give us our all. How the heck did you roll a one? Did you, did you roll a one? Okay. So, first he's going to start with preparation. Not entirely sure why he wants to recover a light, but he's going to recover either way. Uh, two to three. Three to four. Not entirely sure how I feel about that one. But I think I would like to try to get a bleed on you. Inflict one bleed on the next scene. Bleed X. For the scene take uh, for the next scene take X damage and subtract one third of the stack every time an offensive die is rolled. Round up. So I guess I can inflict more bleed on you or something like that. Either way, let's try it. 
Okay, we deflected both of them. At least nobody got hurt this time around. Let's see, what else do you plan? Two to six for lope. That really doesn't really sound that bad. I could try to go for Guts Harvest. It's a really powerful attack. The block figure is not going to help me though. But well, the lead effect is all that matters around here. Oh my god, he's- oh god, he's strong. <laughs> okay, the guy is actually kind of strong. Didn't expect that. Okay, he's preparing again. How about a dirty blow then? Would you like that? Staggered. Not expected as much. Do I have two lights? Three air dice, that's good. Uh, so like this. I'm gonna go for the bite off, so because it does more damage probably, unless it Yeah, that's the that's the only card that I have that does two attacks this world. The others are kind of defensive, so that's not going to help us that much. Especially currently since this uh, he isn't really able to do anything, right? Yeah. And he also has fleet times two. That makes it even better. Okay, boy. I'm really sorry. You did give me quite a quite a lot of hits. At least during that one turn. But the yeah, the blood harvest. Oh, well, the, the organ harvest card is just way too strong. This is just way too strong. Nobody has a chance against that. <laughs> it's such a strong card. I love it. I love it. He didn't even have a chance to struggle. He <laughs> didn't even have a chance to struggle. Oh, that poor guy. The Book of Finn. I got four copies of him. And at least we have uh, multiple versions of that. Close the curtain. Oh boy. It's not all that delightful to see such a young rookie fall like that. All things considered. You said yourself that our ways is quite polite and fair before, didn't you? Uh, that most of the time, people's lives are taken away by others without any consent or agreement. The library is different. People who enter this place have agreed to risk death to gain what they want. They even sign the paper to show such agreement. No coercion or compulsion is involved in this process. They make their own choices and pay accordingly. But yeah, fair point, but, but still. It kind of feels dirty in a way, you know? Maybe because it was just a child, right? It was just a child! <laughs> floor assignment. Each floor will present you with a set of assignments. Completing the assignment will unlock an abnormality battle. Abnormality battle. When the assignments are complete for floor, a battle against the abnormality will become available. Clearing abnormality battle raises the floor's realization level. The hazard level. Uh, this is the library's current hazard level as perceived by the city. Raising the realization level of each floor will increase the librarian's presence as a threat. The librarian's hazard level will rise once the gate is filled. So I guess currently they don't really see us as a threat simply because they don't realize that we exist yet. But by leveling it up, we become more dangerous and more talked about. Is that it? Huh. Okay. Uh, Keda? You seem to be doing your job meekly and well for someone who complains so much. What else did you, ex uh, did you expect after greeting me in such a violent manner? Heck, I was shocked hard. I find myself in the middle of nowhere, and the first person I met blow off all of my limbs! I was lost at first, but I get the gist of receiving guests now that I have a few tried and uh, that I've tried it a few times. Though I do still have a complaint. Huh? A complaint? Jeez man, again with that stare. Can't say a thing, huh? <laughs> I'm going to blow off even more body parts! <laughs> It is Angela. She doesn't like complaints, Roland. She doesn't like complaints. You need to be efficient. You need to create energy. You need to get books. 
Right? That's the quota. That's the daily quota. Our new daily quota. <laughs> Just tell me what you mean. I mean, well, it's kind of tough to receive all the guests alone. Guests arrive one by one, I can deal with, but when a whole group enters, the first thing that comes to my mind is how the hell am I supposed to find all of them? There's gotta be a point where one person is no longer enough, right? It only works right now because of all we've been facing were minor syndicates and stuff. And the whole fuss about the heightened emotions. You say I can't just kill the guests right away because of that, right? You can't? Whoa, 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 I, I can't? What's that odd face hitting at? Well, there is a way, technically speaking, but I'm not certain if it's for the best. Huh? You're gonna join in the fight yourself? You would? No, there are entities that could be of help, but, uh, however... And those entities are the being that used to wield tremendous strength and power, but are now to transcend to maintain a physical form, hardly holding on to existence. Don't remember seeing any living be in this library other than you and me. They are asleep inside of books where the where the perfect environments for them are simulated, along with librarians who will be of assistance to you. Barriers? Entities inside of the books? That's all you need to know about them for now. What matters more is that they can be used before the library's growth. Alright, let's say that's the case. How are those sleeping entities supposed to help us exactly? You have to enter their books and free the librarians trapped within. I believe there's, uh, they are under the influence of the abnormality's power for various reasons. They are trapped with the abnormalities? You trapped librarians? Humans with abnormalities? <laughs> Angela! Since they are highly unstable, they won't easily trust us. You're basically saying they will take us as uh, for invaders like you did during the first part, huh? Correct. If you can overcome all ideas presented by them, they will come to accept you. Instruction <laughs> still unclear, man. <laughs> you said they are as mighty as with paper now. You sure they can give any help? You're not making them the to receive gifts for us. If they can be understood and accepted, they will empower the librarians, directly or indirectly. Still too ambitious, I've gotta say. Anyhow, what are you say? Or what you're saying is that they. They didn't present us with our deeds, basically. And we have to overcome them to earn their recognition and borrow borrowing their power? Entering books sounds like something out of a fairy tale, though. We'll use their power to heighten the emotion of our guests to the peak, after all. I wish you success in this. Ah, sure, sure. Anything you say, ma'am. Will you enter the Book of Bloodbath? So we're actually entering a, bu uh, a book. I mean, this is uh, the world of uh, Project Moon. We already fought against gods, I guess. Sure, that's not a thing. Let's just enter a book. Oh, that's the thing from the tutorial. The bloodbath. It's red. Okay. And then, observe the opponent. Please click on the opponent's character. Sure. Resistance. Fatal, damage plus 2. Weak, damage plus 1.5. Normal, same damage. Endure, reduced. Inefficient, cut in 4. Each character and key page has different resistance to the physical physical and stagger damage dealt by each type of attack. You can deal extra damage by attacking with, uh, with damage type the opponent is weak to, denoted by fatal and weak. On the contrary, attacking with damage types to resist is said to endure or ineffective will cause less damage. Use resistance to advantage in reception. List of passive. 
By selecting on the character, you can see, or in a view, the list of passive abilities they possess. Like Scars, take 1 to, four, uh, to 5 less damage from slash attacks. Blood, lose 3 speed, boost up the max value of block dice by 3. Resistance, when you observe a character, you can also check the resistance to various damage types. Oh, I didn't know that. That's good. So I don't really have to click on them. I can I can already see that in the top right corner at all times. Is that it? Well, maybe it's because I already clicked on it in the, in the first place. Yeah, it's probably going to be selected after clicking it once. And if I had multiple targets, I could blend that out and in. Okay, so let's see. What are you gonna do? Depression. 1 to 6, 1 hit. It flicks 3 paralysis. Oh, uh, paralysis? How many ailments do they have in this game? Not even poison as well. Okay, I need something that can block it, preferably. Oh, this is going to boost up my speed. But I might be able to win this with this card. Okay, let's try. The bleed. Let's see how this is going to go. Ouch! No! Wait, that didn't work! That didn't work at all! And now he's going to go for the block. Okay, he's blocking on all four hits. Do I have anything that can counter that? There's a chance for us to win this with this card, but I'm going to lose the last hit. But if he's going to block in a way, I'm not going to give him the satisfaction of actually getting the hit. I'm just going to wait it out. He's not able to do anything. As you can see, you don't really have to use up a light or a card during every turn. You can just press the spacebar again in order to cancel out your, your move. After all, what would you do if you, if you don't have the lights or the cards to actually attack, right? <laughs> You're gonna go for it again! Are you kidding me? Yeah, no way! You're just, you're just going to try to hurt me with the, with the block, right? You're just going to hurt me with the block! Okay, you're going to go for depression again. The last time it didn't really work. And I tried to block it with bite off. So we're going to go for the offensive this time around. How about... Could block it. Okay, I'm going to go for the guided slice. Let's try it. Okay, deflected. Didn't do any damage. Okay, right. You have the slash resistance, right? Doesn't really sound so good. Stagger attack if all attacks connect. Uh, right, I stagger the, the target if all attacks connect. Oh, screw that, dude. It's only a roll of one of three. I should be able to beat that with this. It's going to eat up quite a lot of my lights, but at the very least, I should be able to win this. There we go. Okay. Then you're going to let me wait again. Not gonna fight against block cards, that's for sure. I'm already down to 10 yellow, so I don't really want that at all. Uh, you're going to hit me again with a 1 to 6. I need stuff that isn't slash. Preferably something that isn't slash. Dirty blow might be able to help me. Okay, we're going to try for the dirty blow. Let's see. Oh, that hurts! Oh, yes! Perfect! Perfect! Okay. Now he's weak. That means I could do whatever. Uh, not entirely sure which one of them is the best one. I'm just going to go for the bite off because it has uh, less lights and one extra. Rather, 
It, it has a chance to inflict bleed, right? It just has to hit. Doesn't really use that much light. And most of our cards are slash damage enemies. This, this abnormality is actually not really good for our card set. Now that I think about it, this is actually really not that good for us. Did I got the bleed effect? Oh, yes. Okay, so that should damage you now, right? Okay, he's going to go for this again. That's not good. I'm going to block that again with our... Should I go for the Guts Harvest? You know what? Sure, let's go for the Guts Harvest. I might be able to inflict more bleed effect that way. But yes, now we have bleed times two. For the scene, take two damage and subtract one to third of the bleed stack every time the character rolls an offensive dice. So it should damage him every time he does something, right? Right? Two damage? I think at least. Ah, I'm gonna wait again. It's really good that I'm able to see what the guy is going to do before I have to select anything. One to six, okay, I can work with that. Uh, can't use this card. I could go for the charge and cover, but it wouldn't really help me at all. I could hope for an avoid. But at the same time... Dirty blow! Worked the last time, it's gonna work again, right? Okay, he only has four health, that's good. He's also staggered. Even roll a four. Then I can go for charge and cover, and that should technically be enough to finish him off. Yes! Perfect! <laughs> Perfect! Suppression of the bloodbath complete. So was that thing actually the thing that was supposed to be in the bloodbath that we never was able to see because nobody of our characters was ever around with low attachment? Or at the temperance? Was that the thing that's dragging them into their demise? Or is that the, the librarian who's afflicted by that thing itself? I mean she did say that the librarians are being controlled by them, or rather affected by them, right? Floor of general work. Realization level up. Level 2. What is this librarian broken? You now have access to a new abnormality page. Emotion level threshold has increased to level 2. Oh, cool. Heck. Blood. Unbearable depression overwhelms all who look into the bath. What? A single ally. The sense, uh, defensive dice to scale 1 to 2 power. Receives plus 3 to 5 stagger damage when hit. That's not good. Uh, when I saw the Leticia work of the scars of her severed, uh, severed wrist, I was reminded of uh, our vine cabinet. That day, I popped the core of the last barber. Single ally. Take 2 to, three, uh, to 5 less damage from slash attacks. When hit, reduce the damage of the attack to 0. And a 20% chance. Okay, that's... It's only 20%, but it helped a lot during the last fight. Pale heads! Yes! Yes! Okay, so it is that thing that puts them into the water. Many heads float in the bath. They are the heads of the people I once loved. Single ally. After 3 successful attacks on the same target, Give 3 to 10 bonus dagger damage. A uh, stagger damage. Resets upon attacking a different target. Exclude mass attack. We have mass attack in this game? Okay. <gasps> Max! Are you. My Max? <laughs> Is that actually the Max from the second round? Holy hell! Why is it Maxwell, Maxime, Max? I get everything with Max around here, right? I get everything with Max around here. Wait, can I also change his stuff? Like, customization. 
Oh my god, I could change so much. I can actually change now. I can change the hairstyle, facial expression, appearance, dialogue. I'm probably not going to touch that. I mean, it's their character, right? It's their characterization. But I can change the appearance. <laughs> I can change it afterwards, which makes it even better. I can even have a list of possible names that I can have. Like Tom. Oh, good. Good is back. Ciao. I can even see Ciao over there. Don't really see. Uh... Wait, can I? Mustard? Ruby is here as well. Finn would. Oh, Finn. Should I create a Finn? I mean, his device was rather dreadful. He was used as a guinea pig. You know what? I'm gonna make a fin. I'm going to make a fin. So, okay, I think I'm done with our fin. I just noticed that it seems like I haven't really uh, burnt any of the spokes. And I have four of them, so I should at least burn like two of them in order to get the fin book, right? So that he is able to equip his actual outfit, right? It would be a bit weird if he wears one of those, uh, What's it called? <laughs> Hyperion suits. I mean, it doesn't really fit him, right? He's, he's one of the fixers. He's one of the fixers like, uh, fixers like Roland. So uh, technically speaking, he should also equip his actual stuff, right? Like uh, his actual page, the fit page. Which has uh, similar resistance to the Lenny page that Roland already has equipped. But it seems like it has a higher rank. It is blue ranked, right? It's supposed to be higher than the other. It actually comes with an ability as well. Half-Baked Courage. When an ally dies, gain one strength for the next scene. Huh. Okay, I take that. Uh, please equip that to Finn and now I need to change some stuff. It seems like at the very least it's going to save up the appearance that I selected for him. So that's good. Can I also select fits? Oh yes. Oh yes. Now he's complete. Now he's our actual fit. He is our fit. Now I wasn't really able to get his hair correctly. And it seems like I got a hair color too. Not quite there yet. It should be a little bit lesser. A little bit more grayer instead of brown, but that's fine. I'm just gonna leave it like this. That is our version of Finn, right? That is our version of Finn. Now I just need to get this stick back. Probably is going to involve a lot of Finn cards, simply because uh, he, he wasn't really able to pull off uh, a struggle card. It seems to be relatively good. He gains two protection exceed. 2 to 6 defenses? And then hits back for 2 to 6? That sounds really, really strong. Should I get the light defense as well? I mean, it wouldn't really hurt to have more defenses on our Finn, right? Yeah. Our Finn is our little defense. And in case Roland dies, he gains uh, 1 strength in the next scene, right? Then he becomes really, really powerful in order to avenge, to avenge our Roland, right? In order to avenge our Roland. Okay, so, uh, how much time do I actually have left? Not really a lot. 40 minutes. Oh god, the time is flying by around here. But I should still be able to do at least one more, right? Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze in one more. Um, especially since it seems like... The, the June office has one more chapter. Chapter 3. Can't really tell who's coming, but they're interested in the Book of Finn. So there you go. Let's see if you can actually get it from us. It's one of our two only collections left, so I uh, really would hate to lose that. Oh, it's June. Finn has failed as expected. He, was going, he wasn't going to last too long anyways. Are you kidding me? He has potential. He's back for one of our guys now. <laughs> he was just medical. 
He could have gotten a decent modification surgery or had enough talent to make up for his lack of experience. How is he supposed to gain any experience if you just throw him into his own device? But he didn't have any of that. He was nothing more than overconfident brat. He wasn't overconfident, he actually went to you because he was worried about the library. The other ones were overconfident and ran into their own demise. You sent him into debt! It wasn't his fault! You're the guy who sent him there! Oh my god. That guy. <laughs> Airy. Too bad. I kinda liked his uh, affable and cutesy attitude. Do I agree? He was bound to die sooner or later. Congratulations, by the way. You must uh, you must have more options now that you've become a great eight fixer. Yep. So you better be careful. If you don't pay me well enough, I might move over to another office. Heard that? Uh, I read. I heard that you barely convince your own tax or uh, covering your own taxes these days. Let alone the monthly rent for this office space. Or am I wrong? I believe the case I... Uh, uh, I believe the case I had Finn handle could uh, make a breakthrough, you know? Uh-huh. You mean the case that you didn't really believe at first until you actually received the invitation yourself? You mean the library and the invitation you talked about earlier? <laughs> but you said the invitation appears randomly, you no? Know? How are you going to get another one? I wouldn't have called you if I haven't, uh, if I didn't have clarity. I recently received another invitation. Huh? Is that so? The existence of our office depends on this case. The library is sure to be profitable. I have a hunch, so we're giving, we're giving it everything we have. All right, let's roll in some dough. I just brought this lovely thing here from the workshop too. This new weapon? <laughs> the guest seems quite determined. We should prepare accordingly. A whole office is coming at us, huh? Yeah, seems like it. It may be a s uh, it may be a small and insignificant one, but it could prove to be a little tougher for the library right now. What if they make it all the way to your room? The guests cannot act outside of the space we have prepared for them. It is how this place works. After all, this space is created with limitless power. Yet, you somehow jumped right into my room when you weren't even invited. Anyways, I'm capable of protecting myself, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Well, that's, uh, convenient. Angela. Greetings, dear guests. Oh, you must be the owner of this place. She doesn't seem like a redder. She doesn't really look that strong. Wow. Rude. She's literally the head library around here. She's supposed to be stronger than anyone. They the first meeting with Roland, she ripped his arms off. But no, don't worry about it. She's not that strong. <laughs> uh, Finn must have been here earlier. What happened to him? Oh, the one that has uh, become a book and actually turned into one of our librarians himself? Oh, he's fine. He's in good hands now. I see. So you turned him into one of your guys, huh? Huh. Acting all sentimental when you're the one who sent him here, knowing he would fail? Shut up. We all get exploited and abandoned at some point in our life. May you find your book in this place. Well, can't wait to turn him into a book. It, it doesn't really seem like he cares at all about Finn. But at the very least, he's interested about his book, otherwise he wouldn't be following the invitation. Unless, of course, he's just interested in the library himself and doesn't really care about the Finn book at all. There is a chance that that might be the case. Wait, what's that? X remaining. Some reception are composed of multiple acts. You can check the numbers of acts in the reception here. Two? June Fixer, June Fixer, 17 and 17. Okay, they don't really seem that friendly. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to start then. 
Evading acts, one of two. So I guess I have to fight twice? Is that it? Huh. Either way, the team emotion level. As the emotion level of the character rises, the overall emotion level of the uh, of the team they belong to will be heightened as well. When your team emotion level goes up, you may choose the abnormality page to use at the beginning of the next scene. Abnormality page. There are two types of abnormality pages. Awakening blue and or an green and breakdown red. Awakening pages typically consist of purely beneficial effect effects for the user. Breakdown pages offer powerful effects that come with a drawback. Each floor offers different sets of abnormality pages to choose from, and the likelihood of each type of page being presented depends on the ratio of positive and negative emotion points at the, as the, that the team has built up. So depending how we fight, we get different cards. Okay. So even if we are in a bad situation, we might be able to pull it around if we get some good, powerful uh, drawback cards, statics. At least it seems that way. Okay, you're going to go for my fin. You're going to go for my rollers. You're preparing to restore your energy, so that's not really that good. Okay, so you're going to go for Finn. Everyone is on two, so I guess we're just going to counter for each of them. Uh, how about light defense from this wall? Yeah, that should be able to stop her. And Roland is going to fight against the bottom one. Who's going to hit him for two three. And then tries to block for three four. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna block your preparations with a charge and cover. Let's see how that's gonna play out. Okay, got that. And the stagger reflected. Good, good. No hits on our side. It's perfect. See number two. I was able to stagger the other. That's even better. I'm going to go for my Roland. That's good. Uh, Roland. What is she going to do? One to four avoid. One to two slash. Uh, probably going to go for the red survivor guide simply because it's going to give you a bleed effect. Finn, are you going to finish her off? You're probably going to finish her off really quickly. There you go. One, two. There she is. That didn't really work. I was able to stagger her as well. Oh! Select abnormality page. Scars. Single ally. Take two to five less damage from slash attacks. When hit, reduces damage of the attack to zero at a 20% chance. Many hands float in the bath. They are the hands of the people I once loved. Uh, right. I think that was the staggering attack, but they have to attack the same target multiple times. I think more protection would be better. And then I can select who's actually going to receive that card. And I guess uh, for the time being, I'm just going to give that to our Finn. Oh, little boy. He needs protection, right? He needs protection. Roland. Are you going to bite her off? And how about some uh, backstreet dashes as well? Simply because she's literally unable to do anything currently. Yes, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> she wants to able to, to stand against that. They're too strong. They're simply too strong, right? <laughs> okay. So what happens next? Acts remaining. Some reception are composed of multiple acts. You can check the numbers of acts in the reception. Ah, okay, so that's the second of the second acts. So by checking the acts, I can see how many times I have to fight, but I can't really check who's going to show up when, right? What's that? Floor available. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what that's it. But I guess they're going to explain it later. Oh, I'm supposed to click on that! Battle order. Visually indicates for the numbers of acts and their order can be found here. Oh. After try libraries can participate. Reception complete. Okay. Not entirely 
really sure what that's supposed to tell me. Except of the, of course that I can bring three librarians if I had that into this fight. Okay. Next we have to fight against Shun, 22. Both of them have 22. Okay, that doesn't really sound that bad. You also have the Finn card, which is slow. One clash win, adds two power to the next die. On hit, inflicts two fragile, next scene. What is fragile? Take X additional damage from the attack attacks from the scene. So it lowers my defenses. And he has commanding, protection X. On use, give all protection to all allies next scene. Protection X takes X less damage from attacks from the scene. 4 to 8, okay, that's powerful. 3 to 4, 3 to 4. Okay, that's going to be a bit trickier than the others. At the very least, that guy is going to be a bit trickier than the others. Good that he only has 22 HP, right? And all of them go for him. Of course, of course. It's Finn, right? They would dare to attack our Finn. Okay, what are you going to do? What to for defense? And you are all about attacks. Great. Can I stop all of you guys? Roland is going first. I might be able to use quickness against him. Or at the very least against him. I should be able to avoid at least his hit. And you, I'm gonna stop you with... Woo, struggle, huh? How about struggle? Sure, he was able to use this uh, during his last fight, but at the very least we can use it. Okay, I wasn't able to block that hit. Any damage? Fine, we got the struggle boost. Also the pale hands. I'm gonna give that to Roland. These hands are waiting for someone to hold them. Would you grant their wish? Okay, I didn't expect it for the cards to talk like this. Ah, <laughs> oh, are you serious? You're going to go for my guy? With protection 2, it takes 2 less damage from the text to see. And you're trying to protect her as well. Uh, can I stop that? Do I have a card that stops that? But quiet. You have a card that could stop that. Three to four. No. No, that's actually not going to help at all. That's a really strong card. And I might be able to put some stagger damage on you. Okay, Roland, I need you to take one for the team. <laughs> you need to take one for the team, Roland. Just saying, you might, you might need to take one for the team. You're going to go for a charge and cover. Let's hope for the best of it. Okay, both of them are going to attack. Let's see how this is going to play out. Oh, that hurts. Okay, oh, that hurts. Oh, that's good. Take one for the team. For the team. Oh. <laughs> one for the team. One for the team, Roland. All for the team, right? All for the team. Okay, you can't do anything for a while. That's good. Oh, shoot. I clicked. Why did I do that? I didn't want to do that. Oh, my pre the space bar. The space bar is going to be the dead of me. Okay, I'm faster than everyone. I'm going to go for... Ooh, time for a little test. When Clash win, lowers max value of opponent's next die to free. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Probably try to go for the Deadly Blow then. Yep, I'm going to go for the Deadly Blow with you. I'm gonna make sure that I win 
next couple of hits with you. Which means triple strike for him. That should kill him off. Okay, wasn't able to use the test. You tried to go for my fin, but screw that! I suppose I'm going to allow you to scratch my little boy. There we go. Okay, you're going to go for him again. Feeling good on hits. Inflict one fragile. The next scene. One to five. One to five, you say? That doesn't really sound good. One to eight might be able to beat it. But there's no guarantee for that. She wouldn't be able to inflict any type of stagger damage on him, though, so we're going to try it with this. Then, of course, since we can, I'm going to go for Guts Harvest. It's going to use up all of its life, but that's fine. Never mind. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> it's the dead. Ah, great. Ah, great. I mean, it got a bit close for Roland. But at least we were able to protect our Finn from the from the bad guys, right? We were able to protect our Finn from the bad guys. <laughs> oh, from the worst boss possible. He doesn't care about him. He doesn't care about him at all. I got a lot of books though. Even a book from Airy. That's cool. Or rather, I got an extra book from from the book of Airy. From the looks of it. That's good. Excellent work. The guest's name is June. Or rather, the guest's name June could make uh, an exceptionally valuable book for us. They're all like both diving into the flames. That June guy seems like a clever um, seems like a clever sort, but when he ended up lightly jumping into the fire to get what he wanted. Or rather, even he ended up jumping lightly into the fire. <sighs> Once you have a taste of desire, it comes in like an unstoppable wave. It's a quote I heard a long time ago. Wait, what? Long time ago? What are you saying, Angela? It's been a couple of days! But then again, I guess for you it's probably a few months or years. But it is that desire, uh, it is that desire is true to one's heart. Well, aren't you funny? You said you despise roundabout speech, and now you're being all poetic. 10 out of 10 delivery. A certain librarian I know would have taken an arm and a leg off if she heard that. Oh no, roll it! Why are you doing this? Uh, get back to sorting books. Why are you doing this? Are you trying to risk your arms? <laughs> Anyways, uh, wait a second, wait a second. I'm probably going to make a cut right here since the part is already kind of long. I hope you guys had fun in today's part. And see you in the next part on, I think, around Friday, right? Friday. After all, I'm trying to mix up a, a different project as well. Simply because uh, I really wanted to play Opus. <laughs> I really, really wanted to play Opus, uh, The Whispers of Rockets. Really sorry about that, but sometimes you have to mix up the projects a bit, right? Sometimes you just have to mix up the projects a bit. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun, and see you next time.